What is up guys, it's Fatty Cyclops here and we're just going to do another quick tutorial for you for Minecraft on the Xbox 360. Just having a little bit of a fight with a cow. Ooh, ooh, die cow. Actually, what am I doing? I wasn't doing a video on fighting cows. Hang on. I'm doing a video on obsidian generators. Uh, this is what we're building. Um, I'm just going to show you it quick. Da, 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 da. Basically, I'm going to show you this one actually because it'll be easier. There we go. Basically, all you do is you've got this machine here with a bit of lava, and you flip this switch. Lava flows. Lava flows and lava flows again, and you can see there it's generated obsidian. So there you go. All you need is one bucket of lava and you've got as long as you've got redstone on the floor you must put redstone down otherwise it just turns into cobblestone um, you just got what what's that three six nine twelve twelve blocks ah. Ah. twelve blocks of obsidian for every flick of the switch so you need for every twelve blocks of obsidian obviously you need twelve blocks of um, or twelve pieces of redstone dust so let's quickly show you what you need to make this your shopping list is 48 blocks of your choice obviously not wool guys don't use wool four sticky pistons two buckets of water one bucket of lava a lever and then 64 or as many bits of redstone as uh, you can muster get yourself an infinite water supply uh, and then what you do is you need to come over and dig yourself some holes now the holes have got to be three by three blocks and then it's in this configuration there you can see there's a nice cross in the middle and this area here is where the uh, lava is going to flow and generate the obsidian and that's going to be in the middle of the block which I'll show you here the next layer so what you do then is you just do the edges here with your sort of stone block of choice in that configuration and then have uh, two floating blocks or floating two floating blocks or floating blocks in the middle of each square like so um, you can leave this bottom block in but I just prefer them floating I just think it looks nicer uh, and then a block in the middle so that's that I'll just quickly let you have a look at that like so and then what you need to do is get rid of the damn slimes go on off you pop go on move 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 thank you what you need to do is just lay water or you only really have to lay water on this edge and this edge so basically the cross this bit here up that way and this bit here both sides of it are covered in water but I just like it like that it looks nicer I think so that's that bit then the next layer what you need to do is again along the sides of the cross just put two blocks 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 and then two blocks you get the idea so it looks a little bit like this okay you've got that and the next layer or the next thing you put down is sticky piston so you've got to have them facing each other so the first sticky piston goes into the side of the next goes into the side and goes into the side now these are going to act as your barriers when you put your lava in the middle block here so they'll be extended but we'll, we'll do the circuitry or what have you in a minute so make sure that they are going in a complete circle like so and then you just wire the thing up so the next layer is you put a bridging block one block behind the piston that covers the gap and this is just for the redstone wire and do that all the way around and then just have the um, a lever on one of the end blocks like so and then obviously put a redstone bit of redstone dust in there to uh, to link up the circuit and turn it on and what happens is once you've turned it on all these pistons will extend and once they're extended you just drop a bucket of lava into the middle there okay and then we'll just show you what happens well you've seen it at the start of the video but you flick the switch all of the pistons retract to release the lava and as the lava releases it hits the, uh, the redstone and there you go Obsidian, just shut that off and get a bit closer and shut it off. Come on, and then when it retracts, you've got your obsidian there, and you just mine it as per normal. So, there's the one we did at the uh, the very start. Make sure, guys, that you've got um, make sure that you've got 
oops, redstone when you uh, release the lava. Oh god, I didn't put any lava in that one. I want to show you on this one. Let's come around here. Make sure you've got redstone because if you release the lava, you just get a big mess. And cobblestone. And we've got enough cobblestone, we don't need any more. Okay, so there we go, guys. That is how to build the obsidian generator. I'll just quickly run down this end. Cow jump. Ooh. So, four holes. Next layer is surround the edges with the blocks. Put a block in the middle and then four blocks in the middle of each hole. Chuck your water down the side of each block that's in the middle of the hole. Next layer is line the edges of the cross. Two blocks on each. Pop in your sticky pistons or pistons, don't have to be sticky. Put in your circuitry, your lever and your redstone dust. Chuck in your lava and then there you go. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys and um, thanks for watching. If you liked it let us know if you've got any comments on this or the way that I've done this video. So I've done it slightly different rather than building it. I've kind of done it layer by layer so hopefully you can pause the video um, and then kind of get an idea of what you're doing before you start actually building it yourself. Um, yeah so there we go. If you like the video then uh, hit the sub button for more and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.